What's up guys, this is Todd with Real Dudes Review and today I want to do a demonstration of Linux gaming versus Windows gaming and this is kind of a follow on to a video I previously did which will be linked below which is kind of my opinions on the Steam machines and I don't really see what the point of them is. Uh, so I wanted to see what we could expect from Linux gaming as compared to the more popular Windows or PC gaming. Uh, so I set up a dual boot between uh, Linux and Windows 10. Um, it's Lin it's uh, Ubuntu 14.04 for Linux. Now on Windows and Linux, I am running the latest NVIDIA drivers. On Linux, I do have OpenGL 4.5, so that's the latest version of OpenGL. And uh, hardware, my video card is an NVIDIA GTX 970. Now I wish I could have done demonstrations with some more AAA relevant titles. But uh, the most AAA relevant title that I have that would work on Linux is Shadow of Mordor. So that's going to be the first benchmark test. Uh, the second one that we're going to do is Bioshock Infinity. And the last one we're going to do is Borderlands the pre-sequel. Again, I wish that I could do some more relevant and some more newer games. But the compatibility with Linux just isn't there yet. So let's go ahead and move on to the Shadow of Mordor demonstration. Alright guys, so we've got the Linux version on the left, the Windows version on the right, and again, both of these are configured to the highest settings that they can possibly go, and on this one, Windows takes it. Uh, Windows wins with the high, highest frames per second of 127, average frames of 76, and its lowest peak was 54. Uh, now on Linux, the highest it hit was 69 frames per second, average of 48, and the lowest that it hit was 20 frames per second. To me, anything that averages over 30 is definitely playable, so either system is fine, but in this case, Windows wins. Alright, so next we've got the Linux version of Bioshock Infinity on the left, and the Windows version on the right. Now the Windows version fortunately did have a benchmarking tool to where the Linux version did not. So I didn't have to run through the whole first part of the game on Windows just to get to, to the town center where I could start getting a good gauge on frames per second. Um, but as far as Bioshock Infinity goes, uh, the Windows maxed out, its, its highest point was 206 frames per second, it averaged 134 frames per second, and the lowest it hit was 47 frames per second. Now on Linux, the maximum that I saw it hit was 124 frames per second with an average around 78 frames per second. And the lowest it hit was 10 frames per second, which is really not good. So in this case, Windows wins again. All right, the last test here that we're gonna do is with Borderlands, the pre-sequel. <clears throat> Now on the left we've got Linux and on the right again we've got Windows. Now both games are set to maximum settings uh, with the exception of Windows. Windows did have an additional physics setting that the Linux version did not have. And in Windows that setting is also maxed out to Ultra. And given that with Borderlands pre-sequel, Windows, uh, the highest frames per second uh, that I saw was 185. It averaged around 134 frames per second, and the lowest I saw it go was 77. Now on Linux, the max I saw it go was 123, uh, with an average of 93 frames per second, and the lowest I saw it go was 67. So the Windows version averaged, you know, roughly 40 frames per second above Linux. Um, now those higher frame rates, most of us have 60 frames per second monitors, so you probably want to tell too much this game will be just fine, but again, same hardware, same settings, same resolution, Windows is just outperforming the Linux versions in some cases by a lot. Alright guys, so that's it for the demonstrations, and again, on both systems, resolutions were 1920 by 1080. All graphical settings were maxed out as high as they could go. And it's clear that Windows is definitely the winner. And it, that very well just could be, of course, that Windows is a more popular platform. So most PC games are going to be optimized for DirectX over OpenGL. 
and maybe that'll change in the future. There's a small possibility that with the introdu introduction of Steam machines into the market that more developers uh, might start optimizing games for OpenGL as opposed to DirectX to, you know, kind of tap into the Steam machine market. Uh, but again, I don't really see it happening with the Xbox One, uh, PS4, and the popularity of PC gaming. I just don't see developers putting a huge priority on optimizing for Linux. Um, so for now, same hardware. Windows gaming is definitely the way to the the way to go. Uh, maybe that'll change. Who knows? Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you liked the video. Please comment, uh, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm always happy to hear from you. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.